Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. Here we have the last item out of our little series. This is the Sony Handycam model CCD V800E. And this was almost their top of the line model. The top of the line model was the high end, high eight, three chip camcorder called the CCD VX1. But, uh, this is basically the typical early 90s Sony camcorder with the nice long viewfinder that, uh, that can even be pulled out even, even more, as you can see. And um, this already does incorporate a bunch of features that were in common in the early 90s, so it's basically a giveaway that this was more of a high-end camcorder. I mean. When I found this at the dump, the immediate giveaway that this was not a, the average Sony camcorder was the fact that they actually have this uh, silver Sony logo on there. The cheaper models always had the Sony logo just printed onto the plastic with the same white color they used for the Handycam logo. But uh, there is a cassette compartment with the eject uh, button. There is a battery release that of course goes onto the back. And it's the only thing on the back. Here we have uh, this field for all your fancy features and manual controls. We do have the uh, title superimpose feature, but uh, this time for two titles instead of just one. And select the color and uh, you can have it scrolling through the pictures. And um, of course here we have date and time. Another feature, data code. So this already had that technology that records the data, the, the date on the tape and you can put it into the picture whenever you want and you're not stuck with the date being superimposed into the picture when you don't want it. And, uh, you know, that's the control uh, thingy which controls all of the manual controls as you can see. Got a nice array of them right there. This is not a wheel, this is just a push button setup. Push it up or down. There is the auto lock, all pretty much self-explaining. Have a uh, little liquid crystal display that uh, gives you a, an overview of all the manual features and functions that you have activated. Here we have the lens, very nice manual lens. There is the zoom lever. This camera still has a dedicated macro mode and uh, 10 times optical zoom. There is the lens cap. This is of course for focus. Precision CCD. And uh, on top we have the edit search, have uh, some counter features, index mark. That's another feature that wasn't all too common. There is the pickup for the remote control and a secondary. Uh, record start stop button and uh, that's so you can see the microphone is already looking a lot like the microphone on the VX1000 it's a nice hi-fi stereo microphone that uh, uh, gives you excellent audio quality this is uh, of course we have the accessory shoe on top here we have the wind filter and uh, there is a microphone input which uh, does have plug-in power as well as a separate DC output and there are these little plastic plugs in the jacks to, so that no dirt can come in. Same as right here, we have the uh, little interface for the LAN controller. Headphone output. This is a little standby lock thing. There is the record button. Let's see. That's for pushing the, sliding the viewfinder in and out. Behind this door we have the, in, no, no inputs there, just outputs. For a composite video, that's a little uh, DC output for the RF modulator, stereo audio output, and super video output. And uh, zoom control, 
And uh, this, is a, this is a very nice zoom control. I'm not sure if it actually features variable speeds. If it does, it's not all too noticeable. Uh, not sure if it really does, but uh, anyway, here we have the power switch and selector for either camera or playback mode. These are the controls for the tape. I'm not sure what that frame record does. It's a sliding switch. There is a data screen which turns on the display of the viewfinder on an external monitor. And behind this little door we do have some more features. We have a menu along with all the controls for that, which is kind of unusual. And there we have the uh, frame advance and slow playback functions for, for the playback mode. I guess there won't be anything on the bottom. I think that's where you put the backup battery. Tripod mount. And there is that. Now I found this camera at the dump. Didn't got any accessories with it. The mechanism doesn't work. So uh, it's going. It's going. If, if it would have worked, it certainly would have been a very interesting camcorder. Especially since this one is not um, suffering from bad capacitors. Um, or at least if there are some bad capacitors inside of there, uh, they are not making the camcorder completely useless. I think there are bad caps in the viewfinder because that's completely messed up. But the rest does work. So if the mechanism would work, uh, this camera would really be quite usable. So anyway, that's it. The Sony Model CCD V800E camcorder from the early 90s. And that's the last item that I have to pack up and then I can bring all this stuff over to my friend and he is going to be very happy to receive all this stuff.